we're going to go over finishing the Kimura now from side control. Now, what's important to note is how I lock down my opponent's body. Basically, once you get the catch, it should be almost always game over. So when I see people uh, competing and they let go of the Kimura to go to something else, I kind of see it as a bit of a waste. I think you should never let go of a catch once uh, you've got it. Okay, if your opponent happens to break that, try and uh, gain it. If you can't get it back, then obviously you'll require, it's required to do something else. Okay, so this is how I like to lock down my opponent in side control. Okay, I understand there are various ways in which people like to secure side control, but this one I find best in terms of finishing the Kimura on this arm. Why? Because I'm locking down this arm. Okay, if I can lock down his body, then this arm and finishing this submission is easy. I don't want things moving around, okay? So, being here, his right arm is trapped in a little space, okay? So if he tries moving that around, he can only move it in a tiny confined area. My elbow is in the crook of his neck, as opposed to being down here where a lot of people finish the Kimura. The reason why this is not as good is because he has access to my armpit. Okay, where he can push my armpit and possibly retrieve his arm. That is why my elbow goes in the crook of his neck. Okay, and my hand here just sits on the inside. So once my opponent is fully locked down and I'm happy with this, we're going to go over the mechanics of the finish, okay? Now take, take note that this is against, this is the ideal finish, okay? If I can overcome his strength and flexibility is not an issue. Okay, we'll go over the resisting opponent next. This is just how I'd like to finish the perfect, the perfect finish. Okay, so my left arm, it stays in the crook of his neck. It's a deep shoulder control. Okay, that makes his right arm, like I said earlier, totally worthless in getting him out. Now my right hand, he delivers. Okay, so I like to think of it as the postman's delivering the package. Okay, so this hand does not reach. If it reaches, and I lose shoulder control, okay, I'm losing control of his body, okay? I don't want to jeopardize that control. So this stays tight. My hand stays just under here, open grip, waiting to snatch. My right hand, keep note, I'm, I'm holding his wrist and the blade of the hand. I pin the hand, okay? Now this is how I finish. I draw a big circle, okay? I just keep drawing that circle until this hand can suddenly get hold of my other wrist, securing the double wrist lock. Okay, one more time, I pin the hand, I draw a circle, I catch. Now take note of what my right elbow is doing. A lot of people block themselves off from completing the Kimura, okay, and they end up trying to do this thing, where they're lifting their opponent off the mat. Now the problem with that is I better be stronger than he is because if I'm not, stay strong on the mat, um, Tony, I'm not going to be able to lift him off. I don't want to have to rely on strength, okay? So I pin the hand. I'm relying on tightness instead. I draw a circle. My elbow, watch what it's doing. It's becoming a, a pusher. So it's pulling, it's pulling the arm and then suddenly it's in line with his body. It's parallel with his body. This, this is good for two reasons. One, I'm pushing the grip, pushing his hand into the grip. And two, it's very hard for him to break this grip because he's pushing, his force to relieve this catch is pushing against my entire arm. Whereas here, I'm blocking myself and he's stronger when his arm's out here, okay? So, I'm here, pin the hand. Draw a circle, my arm goes parallel to his body. I obtain the catch. Okay, now keep in mind when his arm's in this full double wrist lock position, he um, is very weak. We're all very weak when we're at this, this, this full flexion here. Okay, that's why I like to finish it from here, not from out here. One more time, pin the hand, draw a circle, get the catch.